So what had you both hoped to get out of the hackathon? Should I go first? Yeah, yes. I, so I didn't really know what to expect, even though obviously we've been involved in a lot of the planning, but I think just having the headspace to actually have two days to really deep dive into a challenge, I mean, within an NHS framework and a busy clinical load is unheard of. So that's more what I wanted. And I think I've been thinking a lot about, you know, support for people with learning disabilities, healthy weight supports for what feels now like a number of years trying to have these conversations. We've spoken a lot about it. We've had lots of meetings trying to kind of get some traction and build these kind of projects, but it just feels like everything is so difficult to do in addition to your day job and everything else that happens in all the other meetings. So yeah, for me, it was very much about having that protected space and bringing again together people from lots of different perspectives, because I think within the NHS or within my kind of clinical role as well, you you have your own skills, you have people who maybe think quite similarly to you or from a similar system and, you know, sometimes weighed down by those kind of system challenges and that reduces that kind of flexibility of thought. So being able to have people together who may think slightly differently was a real opportunity for me. Absolutely. Um, Sarah and I have been trying to work together for a year, if not longer, mm -hmm. and we just constantly fail because of pressures in the system and being pulled in multiple directions. So to have two full days to just think everything um, and then focus in on a plan that we hope will make a difference is really amazing. It feels like a gift. Yeah, it really does. And my mind is completely blown by the combination of the designers, the IT expertise in the room, as well as the experts from the university, from academia. It's just an amazing opportunity. Um, and I hope something really worthwhile is going to emerge. Yeah. Um, so you both touched on this. It is so, so hard to take that protected time out, you know, as a busy frontline practitioner. Um, we know that you know, it's really, really hard even to do mandatory training for a lot of people. So what would you say to people that maybe aren't familiar with the concept of a hackathon um, in terms of this type of kind of co-design methodology and approach? What would you say for someone who's sort of looking to kind of maybe do this, but a bit hesitant? I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, um, so I suppose from my perspective, actually, I, again, just found this like an absolute blessing to come to and I think for me it's had me reflecting a lot on just working you know, the way we do at the moment and actually how much time would be saved by doing mm. deep dives into things by having that protected time to think about something and do it properly and do it well and with the headspace and the creativity and the skills of other people because I think there's so much you know change that happens when there's so much other stuff going on and you don't really have the proper time to think about the changes that maybe then causes problems further down the line or you don't get the best solutions. Um, so I think it's made me think about how helpful this would be for some of the changes we do do. Um, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who has the opportunity to do one of these things. I think we need to maybe reframe some of the changes we are making at the moment to do it a bit more of a hackathon approach. What about you? I completely agree. I think your point around actually we're saving time by ring fencing two days we've invested to save. It's it's a no brainer, really. Um, and to have this opportunity of meeting with designers, you know, that has never happened in my 30 odd year career. I have never had the opportunity to sit with people who understand how to design something, how it will all fit together. Um, to create a wonderful tool for people with learning disabilities is such an opportunity. Yeah, just do it. Yeah. Great. 
Great, thank you. I mean, I think we all spend far too much time in meetings that never get us anywhere, so we, we feel the pain of that. So I think the Invest to Save uh, proposition is, is one for sure. Um, finally, what do you think your kind of three key takeaways? I know we've not finished the two days yet. Um, hopefully we'll get kind of a winning team out of it. Might be one of your two teams. Um, but yeah, what do you think the kind of three key takeaways for you so far are? Just grab it. Is this takeaways? Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to formulate my things. Um, I, I think my takeaways, I suppose, would be in terms of what I've learned about what is helpful about doing this event, protected time. That is an absolute takeaway for me. I think even just our conversations, I was thinking of if we'd have had two days to sit down, yes. and that would, we've spent so much time like actually added together over the past year, but that would have been such a sort of a more efficient way, I think, of doing things. Um, so protected time. I think the skill set of people in the room as well. So pulling different people in. And again, I think I definitely get into that sort of, you know, clinical mindset or the NHS mindset. And that comes with just the usual way of doing things or usual people that you involve. But actually, this has really shaken that up for me and thinking about who do we need in the, in the team or in the kind of system to think about those changes. Um, what would my third tip be? Do you have any before I, before I think? <laughs> I'm, I'm really struggling. I think I've said mine already um, in different ways. Yeah, I think the protected time, the, the space to just imagine and to come up with ideas, no matter how daft they sound initially, um, they might well weave into something later on. So, yeah, just splat it on a page and see what happens. That's, that feels like a real luxury to those of us in clinical practice. Yet from that come great changes. That's, that's it. That's all my three takeaways. Sounds great. <laughs>